we're going to draw the Lewis structure for CHCl3, that's trichloromethane. Now carbon, chlorine, and hydrogen are all non-metals, which means this is going to be a molecular compound. And what's important about that is it's not ionic. Ionic, uh, ionic compounds will be a transfer of electrons from one atom to another, but molecular compounds made of only non-metals generally share their electrons. Now let's see how many valence electrons we're even dealing with here. Carbon in group 14 brings four valence electrons with it. Hydrogen in group one brings one valence electron with it. And chlorine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons each. Don't forget there are three of them. So that's seven times three or 21 electrons just from the chlorine. 22 and four makes 26 electrons that we have to deal with in the Lewis structure. Now I'm gonna start by putting carbon in the center. Carbon can accommodate up to four bonds and each of these generally only have one bond. So put the thing that can make the most bonds in the center and then surround it with the other atoms. In this case, one H and three CLs. Put a single bond between all of those to hold them together in a molecule. That's two, four, six, eight electrons that we've already accounted for, and we need 26. So I'm gonna fill the octets on the outer atoms. Hydrogen does not need an octet. It's already stable as is. It follows something called the doublet rule. It already has two electrons attached to it, so it's done. I'm gonna count up to 26 by completing the octets on my chlorines. And I started eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Perfect. The octet on each chlorine is full. The octet on this carbon is also full. And I had the exact number of electrons that I needed or thought I needed to create the structure. If I had extra electrons here, at this point, I would dump them onto the central atom, but I don't, so I won't. This is my complete Lewis structure for trichloromethane, CHCl3. Congratulations, you did it with me. Best of luck.